A quick two-for-one video today in follow-up to the recent April 2022 updates on Zwift. Zwift have since released version 1.241 of the game, which addresses two of the issues as discussed in my previous video. So the old mining town has returned, we'd like to thank the aliens for bringing that back, and the Tax Neo road feel issue that people were having on the Tax Neo direct drive trainers and the Tax Neo smart bike has also been resolved. Now unfortunately runners, you have to hold tight for the fix for your new route badge. That's still a bit of a problem as acknowledged over on the forums. Next up, over to the Windows side of things and how you can get ahead of the game, literally, with the new Windows launcher. Now Zwift have released a new version of the Windows game launcher, but aren't pushing it out to all users until June. The launcher checks that all Windows components needed to run Zwift are installed and updated on your PC, and then it runs the game. So it provides an important task, given there's millions of different PCs out there. Over on the Zwift forums, Shuji has posted a changelog of what's new and what's important in version 1.1.3 of the game launcher on PC. First up point there, Microsoft components needed to run Zwift have been updated. This does blow the installer out from a few megabytes up to around 29 megabytes, but that's important because it does contain some very, very important files, the C++ redistributables, which a lot of us have been installing on the side to resolve some of the shared library problems that Zwift has been having with Windows versus Bluetooth versus our trainers and heart rate monitors and things. So hopefully this is smooth sailing with Zwift now putting those required files on the systems that we run. It also removes a pause in version 1.1.2 where you manually needed to click a button to proceed with the game update or installation. Can be a bit of a problem if you double click Zwift it needed an update and you walk away, put your shoes on, get ready for your race and oh, you've got to click a button again. That's gone, should be a lot more streamlined. Speaking of streamlined, streamlines the messaging during the installation progress. Cool, okay, good stuff. The two top lines there are probably more important. Get this installer installed now. As I said, ahead of the curve, there's two ways of doing this before June. You can head over to zwift.com slash downloads, log in, go to the Windows installer, download the XE and install it that way. Now you don't need to install the entire Zwift installation. This is just the launcher. Or alternatively, as pointed out on the forums by today's MVP, Joe H3, who's obviously a kicker owner, you can use the WinGet package management tool to do all this from the command line without having to jump over to zwift.com slash downloads and log in. And let's have a look at that. Okay, to see that in action on a Windows machine here, we press the Windows key, we type in CMD to pull up the command prompt. We can type in win git. We'll type in upgrade. It'll show us all the packages after we first accept the terms and conditions of there. Okay, here's what needs to be installed on this system. If I was to do a full upgrade, we have some Logitech camera settings, Windows Terminal, Wireshark, a few other things there. But Zwift is listed, so you can see the version 1.11 is installed. Available is 1.13. So rather than pulling up a web browser and going over to zwift.com slash downloads, let's use this tool to do the upgrade. It's as simple as win git upgrade Zwift. That'll grab the downloader right there and proceed with the installation as normal. Now I do believe the installation will do a reboot. So I'm gonna hit yes on this. It'll go through. I'm going to stop the screen record because it's highly likely it's going to reboot the machine on me. Oof. Yes, it did automatically. No questions asked. So do be aware installing this new launcher may or let's say will require a reboot on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Okay, welcome back to Windows after that forced reboot. You can jump down to the tray, right click and we have Launcher version 1.13 installed and game 1.24.1, which has those two fixes I spoke about earlier in the video. So there it is, the new Zwift launcher installed and running successfully on Windows. I do love a command line tour. Now while you're there, you can also update all the other packages on your system too, as I have done right here. Okay, to keep this one swift, we will wrap it up there. I'll put all the details provided in this video in the video description below for reference. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Click that subscribe button to support this channel and we shall see you soon.